Hey, Sneaky Lewis back for another distribution for tonight. Tonight we have for you Makulu 14. Lindos, apparently. I'm supposed to look a bit like Windows, I suppose, but yeah, it's okay. I'll forgive that. I think Jax is the name of does it. So anyway, we're going to go through it with you. And it's rather good. It's based on Ubuntu, stroke Debian, and comes with a modified cinnamon desktop. But we'll come a bit more into the problems I had with that in a moment. Now, this is not a full production version, apparently. It's a development version. But I thought I'd have a look anyway, because I've rather liked these other distributions he has done over the time, really. So anyway, let's get on down and do some stuff. Okay, well, first we'll go to the website. So we'll open Chrome, which is your browser of default here. And we'll put in Makulu. Oh, it comes up. Look at that. Let's have a whole new world of possibilities. Let's have a look. Because I've been there before, obviously. This is the website where you can download all your stuff. All the info is here, what you want to need, or do, or anything you want to do, to be honest with you. And this is the one we're running here, Makulu Lindos, is now live. Build number 2018. Now, so far, it's been not too bad, although there has been problems, but I'll come to those in a moment, okay? So we'll come out of the browser. Oh, by the way, YouTube and everything does work out of the box, so no problem there whatsoever. The first, our bar down the bottom is the usual cinnamon bar. This one is open all programs, okay, or all windows. Time and date is your wallpaper changer. I've got P sensor running, so if I click on there, you'll see P sensor is running. Not doing anything really temperature wise, is it? Look, it's, it's really quite cold. Yeah, cold. Although this is not an advanced as the P sensor I've got on my Linux light system. I only get the fan here for my card, okay, my graphics card. That's all I get. I don't get the heat of the card or the GPU or anything else, very much GPU it's using. It's okay. That can be done in the end. Yeah, that's okay. So we'll close that. Got Bluetooth by default. I'll get it turned off. I'm using simple screen recorder to record, of course, your volume control, which is pulse, and my Ethernet connection, which is super duper. Down here we have files. Okay, terminal. Yeah, open the terminal for you. By the way, this is a full install. It's not on VirtualBox, as I said before. Now it's the new year, we're going to be doing a lot more for ones. I've got some old drives I need to kill, so I might as well do some proper install. Yeah, it doesn't take no longer, really. It's actually quicker at the end of the day. As I said, Chrome is your browser by default. We have our software centre, which I'll open a little bit later. Or I, I'll do it now, why not? Now, you have to agree to an agreement here before you can open this, so I found out. Some of this stuff, it's okay, you can find it anywhere, really. It wouldn't be my choice, really. wouldn't be my choice, but it does the job. But as you can see, I mean, I've got a really quick internet connection, and these things are taking quite a while to come up, okay? So, yeah, never mind. Out we come. Next one here is update your repository, so we might as well do that while we're here. You have to put your password in. Password in while it's doing that. I'll have a bit of a drinkage, as you do. Orange juice. Hmm. Very pleasant, actually. This may take some time, apparently. And it Oh, no, it's done. Okay. Is there any updates? It takes a little while to think about it, I must admit. But that will come out of a no, I think. Because I've done all the updates, etc, etc. I've installed programs and everything was like that. And I was expecting the wallpaper to change quicker. Obviously, you can change the, the frequency of the change at the end of the day. Anyway, while we're waiting for that to come up, remember, it's a development build. So if there is problems or it does break, it's my fault. Okay. With our main menu here, and on the desktop we have computer. I'll open that for you. That's what we've got in the system. Lovely. It's my hard drive here. We've got loads left over. File system. And my disk. Okay. It's the usual stuff, really. It's the usual. What's under help? Let's have a look. About. This is Nemo, which when you first update the system, it has to update all these before you go anywhere else, by the way. I try to update the Dropbox installer as well as the Steam installer. That all wanted updating. Right, our main menu. Now, this is not cinnamon I remember. I've not used cinnamon proper for a long while. But, hey, it's very, very aesthetically pleasing, is what I'm going to say. So, you've got a lot of things over here, like computer and rubbish bin. We're on a desktop, anyway. Donations, if you want to make him a donation to help him get along. I think he's from South Africa. Don't quote me on that, because I can't remember, because I've not done the distro for quite a while. Get themes. My system info. So, the system we're using now is the 5960X I'm using for this one. Again, okay, it's 31 gig of memory, and it's also given me 31 gig of swap. 
this has to be corrected. Now, this is not this distribution's fault, it's actually the base distribution, which in this case is Mint, as far as I'm aware, or Debian, or Ubuntu. You know the score, hardcore. And my card, which is the GTX 790. You can upload your system information, but it goes straight to the GitHub, okay? Now, I've got an account there, but I didn't really want to upload and do that sort of stuff. Not on this one, anyway. If it was a full production machine, yeah, I might think about it. So, anyway, where was we? Oh, yes, we was on system information. The software centre, we've seen. Your software sources are all here, too. Synaptic Package Manager, thank God that's here. Shall we see if we can install a program? Okay. There we go, nice and all up. You can see I'm not using the App Center because I don't like it. I'm just going to get a really, really quick one. So you know it's going to be, don't you? Of course. Happy Word. Should be here. No problem. Yeah, there it is. Right at the top. So we click there. Mark for installation. Once all them, so we'll mark them too. And apply. In theory, this should just... Over the top. Whoa, that was a bit quick, wasn't it? Now, shall I have another drinkage? I'll see if I can get one quickly in before it stops. Hang on. That was just a sip, blimey. Okay. Post installation triggers, DPH. And we're done. We'll click on close. Wait a couple of seconds. We're done. So, in theory, this should be loaded straight away. So, if I go down to Office, which is over here, Abby Word's up here. I don't know what version it will be. We'll go to Help. But it is really quick, as you can see. 301. That's not the most current, as far as I'm aware. I'll make it full screen for you. Look at that. And you're saying, oh, that was a bit laggy opening the full screen. And I'm just about to tell you all about that, okay? This is one of my main gripes with it at the moment, okay? So if I go down into Menu and Driver Manager, obviously it wants my password again. Okay. We'll wait for a little while. We'll wait for a little while. We'll wait for a little while. And we'll wait for a little while. It always takes this long, so don't worry about it. It's nothing to do with the system, it's just how it works. Although I was expecting it to be a lot quicker, to be really honest with you. But hey, Cinnamon's not the lightest desktop environment in the world, is it? Let's be honest. Although it looks quite nice now, to be really honest. I still like XFC. Right, chaps, here we go. The 381 and the 387 drivers do not work. Not with my card, okay? The 970. But you do know that is a really picky card. You might have the 960, or the 1060 or 1070, it might work fine for you. I've never had much trouble using the Ubuntu stroke Debian based distro before using these drivers. This one does not work. And one of them, where is it? Let me look on my little paperwork. All oh, right. One of them, the 384, actually crashes Cinnamon completely. It just bugs out and you go straight back to back mode at the end of the day. So I've gone back to the Nouveau driver, which is working okay so far. Okay. That's one of my main, main bugbears. Anyway. That's the bad bit out of the way. We go up here. Where was this? Was thing I was going to, um, oh, there's some stuff I wanted to show you here. So I'll go to administration. Is that where I want to go? It might be, but anyway, we're in administration. Might as well go through it. X terminal, your terminals are here. Create your own USB key, which is fun. I'll open it for you. Of course, it wants your password. Type it in. Put your key in. Point it in the right direction of the ISO or whatever you want to do and whoosh. Execute. And you can go. So and there we've got this little swirly thing there. Mm. So th things do, do need to be worked on at the end of the day. You can customize grab as well, don't forget that. Make your own one, okay? So put all the stuff in that you want and make your own ISO. Good thing. A lot of people are doing that now. A lot of people. Mm. There's AppGrid, which is the software center, of course. Bleachbit. Remember, if you're going to use Bleachbit, Please be careful, otherwise you're going to lose part of your drive. You just won't be able to, able to be seen at the end of the day. I'll scroll down a bit more. Your printers are here. The NVIDIA X server settings are here because I've tried to install the NVIDIA drivers, but it's just not doing it for me. Oh, system monitor. Okay, here we go. So here we go, look. Dum -ba -dum -dum. It's working very nice on the cores, okay? And I'm recording at the same time. It's not really doing anything at all, is it? Not at all. No. If I go to resources, which I mean, sorry, processes there's all the stuff that's working looks okay lots of stuff down here using tiny tiny bits but if i go to the file system you can see snap is installed so you can put some snaps in if you want to install your own snaps rather good idea although i did have a problem with not a snap a flat pack the other day on my own linux light system and i'll tell you about it another time i just haven't got enough time to tell you about everything 
But as you can see, under resources, we're not actually doing too much, are we really? Remember, I'm recording 1080, 60. It's not doing anything. 4K, if I was trying to record in 4K, obviously it's going to be around about 50 to 55, maybe up to 75%. But you're doing four times as much work. Don't forget that. Okay. That's that out of the way. What else can I show you? Right, we've been through the bad stuff and the bits I do like a bit and do not like a bit. Go to accessories, it's all the usual here. Oh, lin speed, is that? That's the one I want to show you. It's like a, a network speed thing. So, the last test I've done, I've got 80 download and 21 up. Now, my upload is supposed to be quite a bit more than that, and my download should be a bit more than that. So, I'm going to do another test for you, and this time I can get another drinkage. I know. This one takes about 30 seconds, I think. Now, I don't think it's my connection, because I tested it earlier. And we was getting at least 95. I've got 100 meg download here. Because I'm so close to the exchange, I'll get quite a fast speed, okay? Because we're not fibre. This is not a fibre connection. It's a standard ADSL plus 2 stroke 3 connection, which is supposed to be up to 90, but because I'm so close, I'll get quite a bit more. Which is, I like that bit. It's very, very good. So we're really stuck around about 81. Whether it's correct or not, I don't know. My upload speed's improved. Very good. I'm lucky. Okay, so we come to the end of this one now, really. The usual set of games you get here. Remember, you do get Steam. Play on Linux is here. There's small games as well, like Catman and Sudoku. Under graphics, there is no gimpage. But you do get Pinter and My Paint. Yeah, I haven't seen that for ages. It's actually quite a good program for basic painting and artwork stuff. It's quite good. Especially if you've got a uh, an art tablet. Like the Waku stuff, or Wacam, that's the one's Wacams. Right, what else? Uh, <clears throat> internet, we've done Megasync. Do I want to connect to a Mega Sound Drive? I don't really know, so I won't be using that if I did keep this. Oh, by the way, the chat room is run in Discord, so you do need an account to go on there. It's not IRC, which I didn't understand that one, but it might be an idea to have an IRC, Jags. Really? Overdrive is the Google Cloud Ubuntu client, and Skype is installed by default, and also Dropbox, as I said before. Oh yeah, the other thing. WP WPS is the Office suite here. Okay. Well, I'm not a fan of this. I've even got it on my phone, and it comes up with problems again. Okay. Every time I log on to it, it says oh, there's going to be a problem where it might not render correctly. It looks very, very Microsoft-like, and I, I don't like it, to be personally. I can always uninstall it, or just install over the top, LibreOffice, can't I? Then again, I've installed Abbey Word. And that goes for the same for the whole of the Office suite, really. Sound and video, as you can see, I've installed OBS just to make sure it works, which it does, no problem. And Record My Desktop is the standard client that it comes with. But this is really, really old now. But if you've got an old machine, maybe, say, a dual-core or a single-core 64-bit, this would probably be ideal for you because it can still do the job. You just have to work a little bit harder, okay? Oh, by the way, the simple screen recorder here I've got here, I've got, I just installed the PPA, it was the easiest way. It's not in the Synaptic Package Manager because it's not in the repos there. But if you just go and put the PPA in, and there is a deb file as well, if you really want to go that way. Voco screen is in the repos, but I've not used it for such a very long time now. Although, when I did use it and it worked correctly, this is the problem. When I was using it, it just didn't want to work properly, so I didn't bother. Then I'll stop using it and we go to other things, don't we? Yeah. Also, you get wine, wine configuration, wine tricks. All your preferences are here. I can scroll on, scroll down. Yeah. And administration. We've been there before. Now, on the whole, for a development build, it's not too bad. There's some things I'd like to change in it, but then again, it's not my distro to actually say that. But the NVIDIA driver thing must be sorted really, really quickly. Really, really quickly. Because most people have NVIDIA cards. Well, let's be honest. Although the AMD ones and the drivers are getting better for them. So I'm not going to knock it. But yeah. Makulu 14. Not too bad. But I'm not going to give it any numbers because it's development build. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye bye.